I just fucked the bitch off Instagram and sent that whole pack. TV Tito Thursday, but I shoot him like a throw back. The way I shoot the. Hey guys, baby. Don't do that. Hey guys, you baby be here back here with another video, and today we are gonna be watching a little video. Oh. <laughs> What's up, y'all? What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, baby B. We back with another video. Today we're gonna be doing a video on riddles, and it's gonna be four riddles we're gonna be doing today. In this video, it's gonna be a little quick little video. So my boy gotta go home. So, uh, all right, eight detective riddles to test how awesome your logic skills are. Today, Brightside gives you the opportunity to feel like a real detective by solving cases using just a few hints. After each riddle, you will have 15 seconds to think it over. If you need more time to think, just pause the video. And if you crack at least one mystery, hit the like button. All right, Sherlock, here we go. Counting down from number eight, escape. Once a famous detective, Stevenson, had to find an escaped prisoner. He knew the criminal was hiding in one of these houses. But he had to know the exact address so as to not frighten the criminal away. First, he took a photo of the houses with the help of a drone. When he looked at the photo, he realized where the criminal was. So, can you understand where that fugitive was and what helped the detective find him? You have 15 seconds. Your time has started. So drive up backwards and then drive backwards into the driveway. I don't think no. I don't think that. Yeah, because. Because he's gonna have to come out. Exactly. And drive out. I think it's gonna be eight. If the cops pull up or something. Are you ready to check your guesses? Are you ready to check your guesses? The murderer was in house A. You see, the car standing nearby was the only car parked facing the road. It would let the criminal escape quickly. Number seven, detective's tragedy. Number seven. One morning, the detective had an argument with his wife and went away without his cell phone and the keys. In the evening, when he returned home, he found his colleague, his scared wife, and a murdered man. Stephen's wife told her story. I was sitting in the living room when I heard the doorbell. I thought it was my husband and opened the door. But a criminal pushed me, and so I stabbed him with a knife. The detective ordered the policeman to arrest his wife because she had planned to kill him. How did the detective figure it out? Time to rack your brain. Time to rack your brain. Uh, because she said she thought it was her husband. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. And then she said so she was basically the murder because she wanted to kill. And her also husband. she had in her a knife in her hand in the first place. And why would you have a knife in your hand yeah. when you're about to open the door? Yeah, right. Unfortunately, Mrs. Stevens indeed planned to kill her husband. She went to open the door with a knife because she thought it was her husband. Number six, friendly murder. Mary and Ben lived with their four friends. One day, Ben came home and found Mary dead on a sofa. Bummer. He called the police. The detective arrived and realized that Mary had been killed not so long ago. He interrogated all four friends. That's what their stories told. Mia was in the kitchen and said she'd come home two hours ago and gone to the kitchen. John was reading a book in the garden. He said he hadn't left the place that day. Jennifer said she had been swimming in a swimming pool for three hours. Jane was painting in her room. Jane was painting in her room. Unexpectedly, 
the detective asked everyone to show him their hands and found out who lied to him immediately. Maya, because that person was the murderer. How did Stevens uncover the criminal? Time is ticking away. Tick tock. It was Jennifer. It was Jennifer. Because if she was in the pool, who do you think the detective was jacking? Does she have recalls on her hands? Oh, no. No, you're right. I wasn't even thinking about the hand. I was just thinking about the reason. Part. Well, time is out. Here's the answer. Well, time is out. Pay attention Here's to the hands of Jennifer. If she had been swimming in the pool for so long, the skin on her palms would have been wrinkled. Oh, Jennifer, your pruny hands gave you away. Number five, blood ties. A millionaire was shot in the forehead at his own home. Detective Stevens spoke to the millionaire's three sons, Jack, John, and James, who were at home. Jack said that night, John, their father, oh, let me guess, the wife's name is Jane, I'll bet. Anyway, the father had been at an official reception. They arrived home and entered the living room. His father came in first, then John and Jack himself. When their father came up to the stairs, James entered the living room and shot their father. John confirmed Jack's information. James said he had visited his friends that night. When he arrived home, his father had already been dead. The detective understood everything immediately. So who was the killer and how did Stevens resolve that case? What do you think? I don't know this one. Yeah, I, I didn't get I didn't get that one. I got the other one, but I didn't get this The one. word of one brother against two others. A tricky case. Or have you already figured out what happened? Let's check if you are right. Let's check if you are right. John and Jack lied. If James had killed their father, a bullet would have shot him in the nape because he wanted to go upstairs. However, the wound was on his forehead. All right, I was thinking it was Jane, but now I was thinking it was Jane, but now. All right, let's just do one Number four, it's romantic it's journey. We're going to do one more. Mr. and Mrs. Clyde went on a trip to the mountains, but two days later, Mr. Clyde returned home alone. He went to the police and said that Mrs. Clyde had fallen to her death. The next day, Detective Stevens visited Mr. Clyde and arrested him for his wife's murder. Clyde confessed his guilt and asked the detective how he found out he was the murderer. Stevens said he simply called a travel agent and asked for some information. What did the travel agent say to the detective? I got you used to these. No, no, no. No. What is your version? Did it have anything to do with the insurance, perhaps? You have just a few seconds left. You have just a few seconds left. Do you know the answer? The words of the travel agent shed light on the whole situation. Mr. Clyde bought two plane tickets to the mountains and only one return ticket. Ah, if only Mrs. Clyde had known. Hey, blame the Beatles. She didn't have a ticket to ride. She didn't have a ticket to ride. Number three, liar. Number three, liar. A man told the police that he had come home from work to find his wife's dead body lying in the middle of the parlor. He said she had apparently found his gun in his desk and shot herself. However, the policeman knew at once that the man was lying. How did he know? 15 seconds is all you have to solve this mystery. Yeah, because he's basically telling her that how, well, she wasn't there, right? Obviously. So how, how, how do you know? The policeman noticed First that the man off, had an empty it? gun holster attached to his belt. Right. It meant he'd either been about to take the gun with him or had it on him all along. 
The former couldn't be true because he said he'd come home from work and found his wife dead. That's why we are left with the latter, not the latter, the latter, which proves that the man had actually shot his wife. Number two. Well, that's it, y'all. My boy got to go home. We about to be back with another video on Monday. I Maybe. Mean, on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Maybe if you guys hit up those comments and get us enough likes, maybe we'll do part two. Right. So. Part two. Because we coming back with another one. And my boy got to go home. Stay tuned. We got to be. Hey. I love y'all, man. I got, um. How much I got? I got 955 on that one last video with um, Madison. But um, thank y'all for watching my videos. Like, put a thumbs down if you don't like this video. Put a thumbs up if you like it. And if you dislike you know. the video, let us know in the comments what we should do better. So Comment down below. Tell me what better is. Just, just tell me. Tell me what I need to do. Because I don't know no pranks. Well, I do know some pranks. But I ain't, I ain't comfortable with it yet. But um, tell me, stay tuned to my channel. Y'all know what this is. This is Baby B. Out. Chop trees with the Draco. Draco on the north got Diego. Diego. Say I still a wego. Movie in rapid.